Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. And this is some kind of review. I don't know which one. Look at the title. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, if you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. And look at my whole Jay Bird. Jay Bird. Dun, 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 and all that goodness and stuff. Center yourself, center yourself, and all of that jazz. Okay, do not forget that you can also like this video because it helps. Like the video, YouTube likes when you like it. Okay, you can also share this on your social media, comment in the comment section because it's all there. That's all there, too. Okay, you can also follow me on IG and Twitter. Okay, I'll be real active on Twitter now at J underscore Lee's underscore corner. If it's not somewhere. On the screen, okay? It is in the description box. Go check it out. Go look in the description box. There's all kind of information down there, okay? Go look now, immediately, okay? Okay. The foolishness, okay? Let's get into Marriage Boot Camp Season 16, Episode 6. Y'all know the background gonna be what it's gonna be because I'm moving. So, packing up, pulling out stuff, dumb as purses, but that bag gonna be there because it's full. I ain't got no, no, no place to put it. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't be judging me. Like, why she got, why her background looks so messy? If you knew here, I'm moving in less than a month. Okay? So, it's just stuff behind me. Anyway, so we see, you know, the couples are still trying to decipher if baby one and baby two, which is Bianca and options, should stay in the house. Okay? We then see, um, who was it? Was it, uh... I don't know whatever couples it was, but they trying to think about it. Look, I don't think this should be the other couple choices. They should be focused on themselves. I do think this should be something that Dr. Ish and Jocelyn Toller should decide by talking to baby one and baby two. Okay, which is Options and Bianca. Now, for me, I feel like, it, you know, Options was saying to Bianca, you know, we have broke up. Okay, we have broken up. And when we broke up, I was dating other people. Okay, hence the girl saying that she and, uh, and Options Chosen is doing some things together. Now, Bianca, I, I got his name on me twice, okay? I got his name tattooed on me twice. We is real, okay? Why would I get somebody I'm not really dealing with name tattooed on me? And I mentioned last week, wait, what was wrong? I had mentioned last week with two tattoos of somebody named Don't Mean Nothing. I'm not saying, oh, tattoos mean nothing, but I'm saying people get name tattooed on, on themselves all the time. I had my ex's name tattooed on me. We've been broken up for years, okay? The tattoo was covered up, but still, getting tattooed does not mean that y'all are real forever. It just means at one point, y'all were together. Um, now, you know, they both were saying, though, that they came there to see if they could work as a couple, okay? But they did not come there as a couple. But we know they used to mess around. They've been off and on or whatever. Now, I feel like this. I feel like they should stay. Mainly because they are there trying to work it out. Their relationship to me is not any more real or fake than Michelle and Stu. Mainly because Michelle and Stu always say they don't even spend that much time together. The time they're spending in this house is the most time they spent together at one time as a couple. Bianca and them been pregnant by that boy three times. They more of a couple than Michelle and Stu, if you ask me. But I digress. Anyway, so they don't make the decision that night, you know, but everybody, I think this and I think that. I think People should mind their business, okay? The following morning, baby one and baby two is fussing because some guy that Bianca was dealing with while her options was broken up, some kind of way DM'd options. And so now I'm like, well, what's going on with him? I'm like, options, you can't question Bianca because you have a whole chick on the side at the house waiting for you, bruh. You can, neither one of y'all can question anybody else y'all were dealing with if you both say that y'all have broken up and was beefed out, okay? So it doesn't really matter. So then they go down to the house, um, living room or whatever, and they're trying to figure out, okay, what should happen. So each 
excuse me, couple is saying how, you know, well, I think this and I think that. I think this, not today. The only person who I feel like had the best advice was uh, Styles P and Ajua because they both said how, you know what I'm saying, they're young kids. They're young kids and they're kind of finding their way by seeing all of us in our, you know, relationships or whatever. So it'll be wrong for us to send them home because, again, they're just here trying to work things out, okay? But, again, they're young. Uh, C-Lo agreed, um, Ballistic agreed. Eventually, Shawnee agreed as well. Even though Shawnee, like, I think they should go home because I think Shawnee, I really feel like Shawnee changed her opinion a little bit based on CeeLo saying they should stay. Not saying that she does not have her own mind, but she was very much so against them staying and wanted them to go home. And then when CeeLo said, well, I think they should stay because, you know, they are working things out. I feel like a little bit of that changed based on what CeeLo said, but I, I could be wrong, but that's what I feel. Um, so they're going to stay. You know, the kids speak out or whatever, and Bianca said, well, the reason we came on the show in the first place was because we were trying to, um, we, we realized we had never tried to really fix it. We was always fussing and arguing, but we never, never really tried to come to and fix the relationship. And if we can, we do want to be together. So they in the house, they stay. I'm like, girl, y'all went through all that for nothing. Child. She so we then see drill number one. They have each of the couples put on huge clothes, but they put them on together. Okay, they have the couples basically in an outfit. Okay, so huge pair of pants, huge shirt, shirt where each person's body goes in one leg of the pants, and then they share the shirt. So it's hard to walk. You only have one working hand, you know what I'm saying? And that kind of stuff. And they then have them do these little tasks, okay? So it's hard if you or your partner are both right-handed when one person's right hand would not be available or vice versa, okay? So you see how they have to help each other open the wine and they're putting together puzzles. They had to do a workout. They had to cook some food, pitch a tent, put together a changing table. I'm like, a changing table? A ch Girl, I would have never been able to put together a changing table with two hands, let alone one, okay? Um, they also do a, like a, make, a, make them like do a clay sculpture and do some boxing or whatever. So it was basically to put them all in some kind of stressful situation that will either piss off the other one or something like that, okay? And see how they communicate within the stressfulness of it and within the whole situation, okay? So we see for the most part, each couple gets a little bit frustrated, okay? Just a little bit. But we see CeeLo and Shawnee was, you know, he was, he was frustrated because again probably because of his size it's hard enough as a plus size person and in a short one at that okay to be doing things but then to restrict us to you know not be able to move around comfortably that's even more and i'm like first of all when they showed the pants CeeLo was like y'all trying to be funny I got jokes, but whatever. Um, and they had him and Shawnee doing a changing table. So they on the floor, so girl, it was hot. And y'all know it's hot where they asked. Like, I would have been aggravated as well. Um, we also see Jocelyn and, and Ballistic get aggravated mainly because he said Jocelyn kept bending down or doing things to where he had to bend down as well, which made his back hurt. And she just kept just doing being Jocelyn and being difficult or whatever. And then, of course, with his frustration, she's cussing him fussing at him and that ain't making it any better and the cops like look they did this to make us aggravated or whatever we could not give in to it well if he just be nice to me okay he, if he was nice to me i would not have to treat him how i do because she in my ear whatever don't tell me what to do and what to say the online johnson calm your crazy ass down so girl before he locks your ass up in that shirt okay i would have been pinching her if i i would have been pinching my shut up Shut up is what I would have been doing, but that's just me. Okay, anyway, so uh, Michelle a and Stu, they were out because everybody finished their task or whatever. But Michelle a and Stu was out like on the back, uh, in the backyard or whatever, chit chatting. And she's like, you know what? You know the drills here has. Why do I couldn't say my good voice? I'm the drill. I, I can't do the voice this time, y'all. But the drills here has really. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. 
high has really helped me, you know, figure out what I want in life and what I want and what I don't want. And plus, it lets me know what I will and what I won't put up with. So that's what the drills has helped me figure out since I've been here. Almost, but not quite. So still, like, you know, really with all your life you know, lessons and experiences, this is what, this, you don't know what you want. And she was like, well, you know, not, you know, not all the way, no. He was like, okay. She's like, well, I'm just, I'm just saying, Stu. And he like, you know, I, I feel like it, it helped me realize that, you know, in our life or whatever, it's all about what I don't do. It's all about what I don't do. And it's never really about me. It's always about you. Now I'm like, well, I mean, that's a bit true, but we shall see where it goes from there. Okay, so then they do another exercise outside this time, okay? And they have to complete this obstacle course. Y'all know how hot it is outside there? I'm like, look, I look, that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to be running around outside on the ground. But that's just me, not them. Okay, so the obstacle course is, of course, they can take off their onesie outfits every day and they can be separate now. They're all happy about that. And one person has to wear blindfold type um, drunk goggles, meaning you can see, but it looked like you didn't have 18 drinks in the hour, so everything is real fuzzy, okay? So one person has to wear the fuzzy, fuzzy, one person has to wear the drunk goggles, while the other person is on the other side of the, of the, the course with a microphone screaming out directions on how to get through the course. It's about communication, okay? And then the other person has to finish the course but come back through. So both will have a chance to go through in the drunk goggles and both will have a chance to direct the other person. So, you know, they start off with whatever we see. First of all, options is just like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, what did you, yeah, like, why you not tell her what to do? And Bianca is on her own, on my own, through the course okay because options is no help okay now we see Stu Stu is just he all in the wrong lane because Miss Shelley is like it's the wrong lane Stu wrong way Stu but she ain't telling Stu what <laughs> where to go I'm like Miss Shelley help that man and say hey go left go right you in the wrong left lane go to your right but she ain't doing that because we know Miss Shelley don't know how to get directions the right way or whatever anyway so that you know, Jocelyn and, and Ballistic was kind of getting along or whatever. You know, everybody was, you know, doing their own thing. But I think Stu and Michelle was the worst. And I was surprised that Bianca and Chose has made it through. How they wasn't really giving each other any direction, okay? So we then see, of course, Bianca and Options make, a, make it through for They finish the race first. Yay! First place. First place. First place. And then, I think, who came in last? It was a, I think it was Michelle and Stu, whatever. But we always know when they do an obstacle course, it's nev nothing, nothing is ever about who finishes first. There's always some other lesson. This one was, of course, communication. Cation. Okay. And so Jocelyn and Ballistic actually win in the, the, the obstacle course because they communicated the whole way through both times. Like, even if, let's say, for Styles P and Ajua, even if halfway through one of them was not communicating the right way, you know what I'm saying? That's what could have been the downfall. So B Ballistic and Jocelyn both ways through, both ways out or whatever, communicated well, even though earlier in the day, they was fussing, tussling or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? So they won, and they won, they would get a full course fancy meal or whatever, and then the losers was who? Michelle and Stu, because neither one of them was really directing the other person, and even though, you know, they came, it was because Michelle was like, Telling Stu wrong way, Stu, but wasn't saying where to go, or whatever. They have to serve Jocelyn and Ballistic. And the fact that, you know, since Stu is a chef, I don't know how you're going to feel about being a server, but we shall see. So we see the losers, okay, has to eat like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, pop. You know, some Cheetos, some potato chips. They don't even get real food or whatever. I don't even eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I look like, um, excuse me. I need some real food around here. I don't want no peanut. Mm -mm, nope. At least give me a jelly sandwich. I don't eat peanut butter. And what options call this soda, I said, what the fuck is soda? We call the pop here in Michigan, okay? P.O.P. -P, pop. We don't have soda here. Mm -mm, we do not call nothing soda around here. Okay, here. 
Anyway, we do see Jocelyn and Ballistic all happy to be being served, you know what I'm saying, by Michelle A and by Stu. So, Stu said, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to make it a bad dinner. I'm going to make it as weird and not good and everything. So, that's what it's going to be. And he did that very much. So, okay, he made, he gave them raw salmon. He didn't even cook it. Oh, y'all want fresh, fresh fish? This is as fresh as it's going to get. And it was uncooked salmon. He, they said, y'all want some salmon, salmon. Y'all want some water? Some spring water? Michelle A then went and got water from the jacuzzi. Okay, she picked up the glasses off the table, went over the jacuzzi, scooped some water up, said, Here y'all go. He got the water fresh from the spring over there. That's our spring right there. That's the spring. Girl, no, that's the jacuzzi, okay? I can't believe this. I want some real service. And they like, we ain't got that. They put like the salad with just some leaves in the glass. I said, what in the world? And it was just, you know, it was it was funny to me. He said, because Johnson was all happy, whatever. You know what I'm saying? She was up there twerking when they wanted, whatever. So, I don't have time for that. I don't think it was mean and rude at all. Like, it was funny to me. Okay, my thing is, if I'm supposed to serve them, I mean, I served them the food. You just had to cook it. I'm just saying. So, then we see after the dinner, you know what I'm saying? Stu and Michelle, for some reason, wasn't seeing eye to eye. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I'm done. Sue said, you can keep doing dishes or whatever. I'm leaving. I'm like, Sue Chef, she the Sue Chef. What's, why y'all mad at each other? So, outside, he's talking to Styles P on the inside. She was talking to either Ajawa or Sean. I can't think of which person she was talking to. And she's like, you know, this being here helps me realize what I do and what I don't want in life or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just, I have an idea of what I want to do. And I'm like, really? What is that, Miss Like, What do you want to do? Okay, tell us what's in your heart. Okay, now outside, Stu and Styles P, he's over. You know, I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? She don't even look at me how y'all persons look at y'all. Like, it's just weird or whatever. And why my face look weird? Um, it's just weird or whatever. And I just feel like I'm saying we don't speak the same love language. I feel like I'm speaking French and she's speaking Spanish. I just don't know what's going on. And Styles P said, well, maybe you need to learn Spanish, okay? If she speaks Spanish love language, that's the language you need to learn, okay? And I'm my like, girl, I, I guess it's true. I do feel like Michelle do not know what she want. Does she even want a boyfriend? Maybe she just wants a penis around, but not really a boyfriend around. Somebody give Michelle a deal, though. So, we then see each couple kind of talk to Dr. Ish and everything. And he tells them how each of them, you know, uh, the task today, they was kind of assigned a C word, okay? Not that they were assigned it, but this is kind of how they feel within the group of whatever. I don't know. So, CeeLo and Shiny were with collaboration because they need to work together more to collaborate, okay? To do things together. Now, Jocelyn and Ballistic was communication because they need better communication because you know, usually Jocelyn is cussing and fussing, and Melissa would be like, Excuse me, what'd you say? Okay, he don't be paying no damn attention. Um, Bianca and Options were was connection because they need to connect better. I don't think they, I think Bianca and chose this options, whatever you want to call them. They work well. They 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 connect. They have great, probably sexual relationship. Okay, their issue is they they don't need to be together forever. Okay, it's that young dumbness that's in the relationship, and they bring about they need to connect better. You know, and stop breaking down every time that situation. Uh, if you say so, Doctor Ish. A uh, Styles P and Ajwa. I love Ajwa. I like her name. Y'all see, I pronounce it right and everything. Y'all you know see, and y'all know usually them weird spell names. I fuck them up every time, but not Ajwa. Their word was compassion, mainly because they need to focus on kind of um, how they react to each other in different in different situations and have empathy for each other. I, I think that's a good thing for them, too. Now, Styles P and uh, Michelle and Stu word was curiosity. I said, curiosity? Okay. You know, Dr. Is said, because, you know, y'all need to still be curious about each other. You know, even because y'all only been dating for 10 months. Like, you should be like, oh, you picked a, a brown shirt. 
with great tones. Like, why did you pick that shirt? Because your eyes pop with that shirt. Like, you know, be curious about what's going on with that. Like, why did you do that? I just want to know, okay? But, like, a, a good thing, not a nosy thing, a good, a good curiosity or whatever. Stu then say, well, you know, curiosity killed the cat. I'm like, curiosity killed Yes, it did kill the cat. And then Styles P then said yes, but satisfaction brought it back. I say, that's true, Styles P. Come on with the words or whatever. Stu brings up how I don't like digging, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if I dig too much, I'll ruffle her feathers. They're like, yeah, but you don't know that. You're assuming that, but it should be worth the risk to chance it to get to know her better. Stu and Michelle A, I, girl, I, I, I don't know. So, we do see them all, like, go to separate ways or whatever. Doctor, not doctor, Justin Toller wasn't on this episode, okay? So, we see baby one and baby two. Options and chosen, or options and chosen. Uh, options and Bianca fuss a little bit because he's like, I was upset all day because of that DM from that dude that you were dealing with. I'm like, but you was also dealing with... With a female options, you were in the same cheatation of situationship that she is. Y'all was both doing the same thing. But I digress, okay? Um, that's dumb to me, but I agree it is what it is. Uh, Mitchell and Stu outside chit chatting a little bit. Now, again, they at odds, okay? He said he's, what was they at? Outside looked like somebody's aunt and uncle, okay? If that ain't I, Stu, with Auntie Michelle at, what Auntie, what Auntie Michelle at? Oh, she out back with Stu? Okay. Anyway, so he said how he feel like the other couples judge him. People is judging him because he's always trying to explain his himself or express his feelings or whatever. Just explain things, you know what I'm saying? And because they don't know me when I express myself, they take it the wrong way, okay? She said, well, I've been telling you that you speak your mind too much to you, that you talk too much sometimes. Don't say nothing. Just don't say nothing, Stu. I be telling you you don't be listening god i say girl and she i'm just so sick of you and then she walk away i feel like you can't tell somebody else to that they are expressing themselves too much i think there's a way to say you don't have to explain every situation versus saying you you express yourself too much people have the right to express themselves they do but you know every situation does not does not require an explanation. Sometimes, if they don't get it, let them not get it. But girl, that was the end of it. How it went off. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. This was episode six. We got like four episodes left. Girl, I'm over these people already. We'll see what happens next week. Anyway, gotta go. Peace.